One of the coolest things about Linux is that you're not locked into one look and feel. Want something that looks like Windows? You've got it. Prefer something that feels like macOS? Easy. Maybe you want a minimal keyboard-driven workflow? Linux has that too. If you're coming from Windows, you'll probably feel most comfortable with Linux Mint with Cinnamon. Similar layout to Windows with a taskbar, system tray and a start menu. KD Plasma, super customizable, looks and behaves like a modern version of Windows. Out of the box, Plasma already feels familiar to Windows users, but you can tweak it endlessly. Distros like Manjaro KD or Cache OS gives you Plasma pre-installed with performance-focused defaults. Zorin OS lets you choose between multiple layouts including a Windows-style one. These distros help ease the transition because the learning curve is smaller. If you're a Mac user, you'll want something clean, minimal and elegant. These distros deliver that feel. GNOME Desktop Found in distros like Ubuntu or Pop OS, GNOME has a top panel, an overview mode and a workflow that feels closer to Mac OS than Windows. It's modern, destruction-free and very productivity-oriented. Zorin OS can switch into a Mac-style layout complete with a bottom dock and top bar. It's very polished and beginner-friendly. Dipping visually one of the most beautiful desktops available. It has smooth animations, a Mac OS-inspired dock and a clean overall feel. Some people love it for aesthetics alone. Maybe you're someone who loves tweaking, sculpting and having full control? In that case, you might want to try a tiling window manager like i3, Sway or Hyperland. Or you could use GNOME with custom extensions. So here's the deal. Want something familiar? Go with Linux Mint Cinnamon, Manjaro KDE, Cache OS KDE or Zorin OS Windows layout. Love the Mac OS feel? Check out Ubuntu GNOME, Pop OS, Zorin OS Mac layout or Deepin. If you're a power user who loves keyboard shortcuts and ultimate efficiency, you might eventually graduate to a tiling window manager like i3, Sway or Hyperland. Warning, the learning curve is steep, you're building your interface from the ground up using config files. It's not for beginners, but it's a final frontier for Linux customization. That's the beauty of Linux, you're never stuck with one desktop. If you don't like the way it looks or feels, you can try a different distro that ships with your preferred environment pre-configured or later on you can learn to change it on your existing system. So what will be your preferred desktop environment? Let me know in the comment section below. But this is it for today. If you like this video, please support it with a like. If you're first time to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. I appreciate it very much. This will help me a lot to grow my channel and bring you more helpful, interesting Linux videos. Also, if you will have other comments or questions, please drop them down in the comment section below. I'll try to help you if I can. And if you like what I'm doing and would like to support my channel, you can always use Super Thanks or simply buy me a coffee. I'm gonna put the link in the description. But this is it for today. I hope you have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.